Team Sonic Racing. Growing up, I have never been a huge fan of kart racing games, but I do like the Mario Kart series. They make fun tracks that make the monotony of going around loops a little less tedious. Over the years, I've enjoyed other kart racers, from the better than I expected Cars 3 to Sonic All-Star Racing. Sonic games in their levels always have a feel to them, and this one really did feel like a level that you might see in a Sonic game. But is that really a compliment? While Sonic games can be really fun, the levels were often stretched out and had confusing designs. While Sonic Mania did a better job of making some of the levels fun, in the end, the enjoyment of Sonic games are about speeding through levels, and not so much about looking around at what you're running past. The level designs in this were sometimes really pretty to look at, but overly busy and confusing. Mario Kart does have this problem at times, but they tend to do it better. It wasn't a bunch of crazy stuff on the screen to distract you as it was more used to enhance the level design and I just don't see that in this game. Even the spooky level, which is usually my favorite in all the kart racers, is really disappointing in this one. It felt like the designers went to a carnival dark ride and said yeah let's do that but sonic fi it, which basically mean let's make it generic. It's a pretty sad day when carnival games for the Switch had a better spooky area and that game is f***ing awful. There is a story mode in where a guy named Doden Pa gets Sonic's friends together to race and he'll give them a prize at the end of it. Even in the story mode, the creators in this game really don't care about the story either because the normal button to accept missions is just to skip the story. You have to hit the B button to actually do the story. It's in very small print at the bottom of the screen and one I totally missed for quite a while. The one thing I really did like was that there was a team-based gameplay. It made the story missions easier to get past. You didn't always have to be in first place to get the star, but they would give you extra stars if you did it. There are different kinds of challenges, like collect the rings, elimination, target breaking, and of course win full races to win. While the story mode wasn't great, at least they do give you quite a few ways to maneuver through the map, so you can pick the best way that you might be better at. I also liked how you could drift behind some players to get a speed boost. And this might sound like a double-edged sword, but I did like the fact that all the players basically were with you neck and neck throughout the entire race. Even if you get stopped, it's incredibly easy to get back with a pack, but it also means it's easy for them too. So it never feels like you have any real advantage over any other racer since they catch up pretty quickly. It doesn't help that there's a team power-up which makes you invincible and speeds you up, and it gets used quite often with the other teams, so even when you feel like you're way ahead, they'll zoom right past you quite quickly. It fills up throughout the race and you can decide when to trigger it. There's also item blocks that you can use to slow down your opponents or speed yourself up. There isn't anything in here that you haven't seen in other kart racers when it comes to the item blocks, which was unfortunate. You can play this online! And I did find three other people who were playing this online. And I actually did better than I expected. Unfortunately, the online crashed at the end. When I went back, there was only two players now. But they do fill up the slots with CPU players. But if I wanted to play against the CPU, I would just play the single player mode. Now you can play this with up to three other players. But since I'm currently alone, I really couldn't test it. Team Sonic Racing was not great. But it wasn't bad either. It was just so painfully average, it was frustrating. It feels like if they had better track designs and a more interesting story, this could have been way more entertaining. I had no issues with slowdowns and the load times were just fine. Now let's get this out of the way. If you're looking for a fun kart racing game, spend the money and get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. However, if you don't have the extra $20, you have to decide between this, Cars 3, and Crash Team Racing. I have to tell you, I had way more fun playing Cars 3, and I haven't played Crash Team Racing yet, so I would just get Cars 3. However, I've seen this on sale for $30, and that's more of a fair price for this. It's just too generic for me to say you should pay full price for this.